And guess who's back? Welcome back to another episode of Katawa Shoujo. And let's see what will be revealed today. I'm a little conflicted. Should I go after her or should I stay here? Wait, I have to readjust myself a little bit. It's obvious that Amy's departure was not based on the call of nature. Something's bothering her, and I have to know what it is. The only way to find out is to go to the source, and the source is currently pretending that she has to use the toilet. I excuse myself politely from the table and head that way, only to catch sight of Amy, not in the bathroom, but in the kitchen, just next to the living room. Amy's left the door open, and as I approach, I can see that she's holding on to the table in an attempt to compose herself, an effort that fails as soon as I open my mouth. Doesn't look like nature's call was that... <coughs> Doesn't look like nature's call was that urgent. Amy jumps and glares at me. Really? You really have to crack a joke? What are you doing here? I didn't come here to be with other people. I just wanted to help you. You look pretty rattled. I said it was nothing, didn't I? And besides, I thought we'd established that you can't help me. No, we've established that you are stubborn. Look who's talking. The guy who followed me. Haha, <laughs> good one. This is different. I want to help you with whatever this is. Funny, because I just want you to leave me alone. Oh god. I didn't even felt it all, that it cuts so deep. But why? Why can't you just trust me? We've been over this already, Hiso. I've got to deal with this stuff on my own. I won't accept that. You need my help. You just won't take it. My wording seems to have been a little off. What? Need? I need your help? Oh god, this music. Well, it's a good thing we met, isn't it? Because otherwise, I get I'd just be a broken, a broken human being, wouldn't I? No, it's a damn good thing that Hiso came along to save the day, isn't it? Because God knows I can't save myself, can I? Oh God, this is horrible. I'm just a poor emotionally damaged girl with no legs, right? Amy, you know, I don't think that... Really? Because if you thought differently, then I don't think you'd be here saying I need your help. I've gotten pretty far in life as a normal human being without you. So what? Nothing we shared was important? I'm just a guy who hangs out with you? You're my boyfriend, Hiso, not my savior. Well, no, that much is obvious. You won't even consider that I could be a help to you, will you? You just bottle it all up and hope that a one will solve your problems. Or you come visit me and we'll fool around until you feel better. That's not being a healthy human being, Amy. That's not what a relationship means. Well, it's what it means to me right now, Hiso. I wish... She seems to reconsider her words just then. A flicker of pain of doubt in her face. For a moment I think she's about to cry. But the moment passes, and now she's composed herself again. Whatever that wish was, will have to go unspoken. Look, I just can't do this right now. What have... What? Have a serious conversation? Be open? Be honest? Give a damn about any on bes anyone besides yourself and your problems? What do you know about pro my problems? Nothing! You don't know what I've been through, so don't pretend that you do! 
I know you have nightmares, and I know your father's gone. What happened to him? He died, you dumb f Amy's head jerks backwards if, if I've just slapped her. That brittle quality has gotten back into her voice. It's enough! This is stupid. This whole conversation has just been variations on Amy stonewalling me. What? You won't even answer that question? Fine. Keep your secrets. They can lie in the grave as far as I'm concerned. Amy's eyes widen in shock. When she speaks again, it's in a voice that is low dangerous. Get out of my house, he saw! What the fuck? This is a terrible! This is terrible! This is a horrible start in the series! Look at her face! The sudden change in her tone snaps me out of my self-righteous anger and makes me realize with a dawning horror what I've just said. Amy, uh, it didn't mean... I said go, Hiso! Tell my mother that she cooked a wonderful me, but you've forgotten a prior engagement and get out of my house! She's trembling now, shaking with anger, or sadness, or determination. Her voice is still low controlled, almost a growl. I reach out to put an arm on her shoulder to apologize for going too far, but she jerks away from my touch. Get out! What can I do? I walk out of the kitchen and go to the living room, make my apology to Mrs. Ibawazaki, and let myself out. I th and that was the let's play of Katawa Shoujo. They broke up, everything is in ruins, and we can finally end it here. Or maybe not. What the fuck did just happen? I picked the wrong choices. I thought we helped her, but it's all getting worse. The morning alarm sounds and I roll over, switching it off. My eyes open blurrily to stare at the ceiling. What am I going to do? Do I get out of bed, go down to the track, and pretend that nothing happened? If you're lucky, she will forgive you. If you're not, you quite deserved it. Because what you just said, just... Why couldn't you leave her be? I, I know it was one, one of my decisions led to this. One of my decisions led to exactly this situation. And... Ah... Uh, He's a freaking moron right now. He's totally going nuts. He's, he's way too clingy and he wants to know it way too hard. Will Amy even show up? After last, e last evening's events, I doubt it. Even supposing that she did, what would I do then? Get over this fight just to dance the same routine the next time something's bothering her? I know that I spoke hastily last evening, especially trying to use her father's leverage. But what? But was anything I said really off the mark? She won't let me in, ever, and she'll be forced to suffer alone. Nothing I do, nothing I say is going to change that. She won't change, and she's already decided to keep me at arm's length. Can I really bring myself to go down there and see her? Knowing that I'm never going to get past where I am now. You... You... You ungrateful little brat. You had something special and you destroyed it all by yourself. No. I decide. I really can't. Not today. I will over and go back to sleep. You are an idiot. I hate you so much right now. 
She probably won't be there anyway. A similar mental conversation repeats itself when it comes time to go to lunch, and I eat in the cafeteria alone. I don't run to see her. The very thought makes me feel ill. That night, I go for one. I'm solo for the first time since Amy got sick after the, the track meet. Skip being the nurse just in case he asks about Amy. I don't want to talk about her either. The next day I do the same thing. Alarm off, stay in bed, eat alone, run alone. To fill the time that I would usually be spending with Amy, I start reading more. I guess I fucked, I fucked up this let's play. I'm really sorry for that. I made horrible decisions and now you have to to no you don't have to experience this really really dark grim chapter of this novel but maybe you stick with me and and bear with me and 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 share the pain i currently have and the anger i have with hiso here i would really appreciate it it works surprisingly well until I find myself ducking into a restroom because I see her walking down the hall in between classes. If she noticed me, she didn't show it, even though I don't suppose she ever shows anything. Oh, you're... Ah! Oh. Certainly not to the girls from her class, I see talking cheerfully to her. Or to her fellow track members, especially not to me. Alarm off, stay in bed. Muto and I have a lengthy talk about the possibility that string theory is plausible. Really, the Big Bang thing? The string theory is plausible. Alright. I used to know what the string theory is, but I forgot again. I don't buy it. Myself. Okay. More than four dimensions I can buy, but a bunch of vibrating strings at the subatomic level? That's asking a bit much. Looks like I'm not the only one to think this way too. Apparently, it's not really as strong a theory as it once was. Mutu says that just because nobody has found the right way of looking at the data yet. What was that? Eat alone. The rooftop is deserted today. I briefly wonder where Amy and Wynne are, but shrug off the question. The important thing is that they aren't here, so I won't have to talk to them. Since I have nobody to talk to, I bring a book with me to read. This feels so depressing right now. The weather is nicer, if getting a little hot. Hopefully it will be cooler in the evening. A cool breeze seems to back up my theory. One alone. It is, in fact, cooler at the track. No sign of Amy, which is exactly the thought of thing I'm going for. I stretch out and start on my usual one, trying hard to ignore the lack of a running partner in front of me. Finding my thoughts drifting damnably to that girlish laugh. Incorrigible grin, those wide and friendly eyes, her incredible toned body, Oh, you're fantasizing about her, aren't you? I increase the pace to clear my head, chew up the distance between me and the turns, find the speed that makes me think only of my legs and how much they burn. I glance at my watch as I wound the final turn, noting that my time's gotten faster. My heart seems a little squirrely tonight. <laughs> So I give myself a few extra cooldown laps just to be safe. No reason to bring this to the nurse's attention. I'll be fine. A rather Amy-ish thought to have, I'll admit. I have to hope that eventually I stop thinking about her so much. I finish another book before going to bed that night. I have to stop by the library tomorrow. I know I won't comment so much about it because it would just be unnecessarily went and I would really like to know if there is 
how this could possibly turn out good again. I'm re I really hope I don't screw up the whole thing, otherwise I will be really disappointed, even though it's it's great story so far. No, I went to... I went too much about the story and how the protagonist acts, but in I have in the back head that my dis that I figured out that my decisions are really have really a huge impact in here, and maybe the decision that I that I've not decided to talk to Mutu led to this scenario right now. I don't know, but maybe it is just like that. I really hope this turns out good. I don't know why I keep the early alarm on anymore, but it wakes me up the next morning just the same. I still turn it off and go back to sleep. Oh! That afternoon, as I get ready to head to the, to the cafeteria for another solo lunch, I've got a new book about a couple of con men in ancient Persia that I'm pretty excited about reading. I'm suddenly cornered by Misha and... Huh? I guess just Misha. Off to eat alone again, hick -chan? We've noticed, you know. We? <laughs> hick -chan and I noticed that you've been spending more time alone. She wanted me to find out why so, why, so I told her I'd ask you. I'm surprised she didn't ask me herself. She would have, but she wanted to get a head start on some paperwork. There's a lot of it since we're coming up on the end of the term, you know. Why this sudden interest in my well-being anyway? Oh, it's so loud. Ah, Shikshan, I said it's the duty of the student council to keep track of the emotional health of its students, to allow a con constituent to spiral into depression unchecked would be an unforgivable failure in the council's duties. Well, that's easy then. I'm not depressed. But you're eating alone, and nobody's you and nobody's seen you and Amy together at all. Something happened, didn't it, hick -chan? Misha's voice takes on a slightly sterner tone, though somehow she keeps the familiar lilt at the end of her sentences. I purse my lips, uncertain about how to respond. Oh, it's, he's already a whiny, a whiny... Thing like that, create a new save state. Add another save state. Oh, why it's so I purse my lips, uncertain about. Downplay the issue. Hell no, you have to. Maybe from another girl's view, you will be enlightened and realize how dumb you reacted and what and stupid. Ungrateful little Ah Spoiled well not spoiled I don't know if you're a spoiled child but Ah It really hurts my head thinking about how he fucked up so hard Give in and let Misha know Well I suppose someone else knowing about my problem can't hurt Heck maybe Misha can even offer some advice yeah, she can tell you that you're an idiot and that you should apologize. We had a fight at her house. I keep trying to get close to her and she won't let me get close and... I said something stupid and she threw me out. Have you talked to her since then? Oh no, this was a total wrong voice. Misha looks genuinely concerned. I'm surprised, as I'd almost expected her to drop the subject after finding out what the trouble was. Even more surprising is how quickly I find myself spilling my guts to her. Well, she was a good friend in the beginning, and I guess it developed a little. No, I haven't. I just can't bring myself to face her after that. 
I made a complete fool of myself and she probably hates me now anyway. Especially since I haven't seen her since then. You're pretty slow, Hick-chan! This doesn't sound like advice. Huh? Misha places her hands on her hips and launches into a speed that would sound more plausible coming from Shizune. The solution to your problem is simple. You have to go and apologize to her. Leaving things like this will just make things worse. You can't know that she hates you now unless she tells you. Otherwise, there's no evidence that what you fear is true. And if you really care about her, shouldn't you be worried about how she's talking all this? T wait, talking or taking? Taking all this? With a sudden start, I realize that she is right. I've kept waking up to an early alarm because part of me wants to meet Amy and the track for our ones. This line is just so cheesy. I've kept running because I know that Amy would worry about me if I didn't stay healthy. When I went on the roof yesterday, I was half hoping that she would be up there and felt disappointed, disappointed when she wasn't. I'm an idiot! I'm a Baka! Well, he is a Baka, not me. I'm, I'm totally... I totally saw that coming. But yes, he finally realized that he's an idiot! Great! Well, an emotional idiot. Science-wise, you seem to be pretty smart. Kinda, Hick-chan! So, go and apologize to her as soon as you can, okay? I open my mouth to say that I'll do it right away. But the lunch bell rings, and I realize that I still have afternoon classes to attend. First thing after class is over, I go see her. I promise. And, um, thanks for the advice, I guess. Oh, my stomach is rumbling again. Misha beams at me, and is as if I were a child that had just learned his ABCs. Good, I let Chick Chan know that you're okay then. Uh, yeah, do that. With a wave and completely disregarding the fact that people are staring to trickle back into the classroom as opposed to out of it, Misha departs the classroom. I suppose she and she's in have student council business again. While the afternoon wears on, I find myself impatient for lessons to end. I need to see Amy. Now. I have to try to set things right. Even if Amy hates me now, I have to at least apologize. I owe her that much. You owe her even more. Should I meet her in a room? No, I decide I would delay things too much. If I know Amy, then I can find her at the track. Still have no idea what I'm going to say when I get there. But I take comfort in knowing that Amy probably wouldn't have a plan for something like this either. Play it by ear. Stop being nervous and just get to the track. Figure the rest out when I get there. The track looms ahead and another jolt of nerves, nerves hits me in the gut. I resist the urge to turn and walk away and instead note with satisfaction that I was white and Amy is still running. I don't make myself immediately known. I find a seat in the bleachers and watch her one instead, thinking back to earlier meetings. After a few trips around the track, Amy notices me and skids to a halt, an expression of surprise that slides easily into one of anger. What are you doing here? Not quite the response I had hoped for. At this point, I don't have much of a choice. I wanted to apologize for what I said the other day. The other day? She lost a curt exclamation of disbelief. It's been almost a week, he so. Yeah, well, better late than never, right? Amy crosses her arms and stares at me coolly. As if sizing me up. Finally, she nods. Hmm, I suppose you're right. What on the, under the bridge then? I 
I forgive you. Hold her, Hiso. Hold her and let her never ever go again. A girl who forgives you. That kind of treatment. You did the thing. The, the, the day you did to her. Holy sh... That was almost too easy. Wow. Is that all? Her almost impatient question catches me so off guard that she's already halfway down the track before I think to shout after her. No, wait! She doesn't seem to have heard me, or she doesn't want to hear me, and so I give chase, disregarding completely the fact that I am not dressed for it. Now that's not really that the issue, isn't it? My feet hurt. Why does your feet hurt? You just started running! And my shirt color feels like a noose around my neck. But I still chase after her, because if I don't, I lose my chance. What chance? Imi hasn't started to really accelerate yet, which is probably the only reason why I'm able to catch up to her. To reach out and tap her on the shoulder, just before my legs give up running in dress shoes and stumble to a stop. Surprisingly, fortunately, question mark, all that running seems to have paid off. I'm short of breath, yes, but at least my heart isn't actively trying to force its way out of my ribcage. My touch on her shoulder has stopped Amy, and while there is a flash of concern when she sees me catching my breath, it seems that she has a good idea of what I'm capable of, what I'm capable of too. The concern is short-lived. What? She seems so irritated by me being still there that I almost lose my nerve, but I lost my nerve enough. I need to explain myself why I can't just let the matter rest. Imi folds her arms and bounces one blade on the ground in an approximation of tapping her foot impatiently. Angry as she is and as nervous as I am, she still looks beautiful. Okay, Hiso, explain. The thing is, I know that you're really sensitive about the accident and about your dad. I can see Amy's face twitch at the mention of the two things that have been steadily driving us apart. Or at least made me feel like we are being driven apart. Because you're a fucking idiot and you'd always bring this up again even though she would tell you when the time is right after you ask her so many times before without getting angry. But that's why I want to know about them, I think. Because I see how much they hurt you, and I want to be there to comfort you. His reason is noble. It's really noble and all. I can understand that he wants to help her. But, but don't overdo it. Don't push a matter that when you hurt someone more than you help her with it. She knows it. She appreciated she appreciated it already. So so there's really no reason to push the matter on and on and on. I just can feel how her face will turn into an angry one again. It makes me miserable seeing you sleepless and depressed. And don't pretend you aren't, because I know, okay? I just remember that night when you fell asleep with me and had that nightmare and that you were happy to have me there when you woke up. I want to be able to be there for you, like that, whenever you need me to be. The stern face cracks slightly. Amy interrupts before I can continue further. Just, just stop right there! We can't see each other anymore, okay? What? Sorry, what? She's running now. 
looking everywhere but at me. I'm surprised she doesn't bolt. She knows I can't catch her. We are not... We are not right for one another. No, 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 no. This takes a... Oh. This... Not even in a video game I can't get the girl I like and she broke up with me. Not even in a fucking video game I do the right decisions. Maybe I'm the idiot. Maybe, the, maybe I'm the one who just don't realize how dumb my actions are. That I didn't took the question seriously enough. I answered all the question like I would in real life. And it's leading up to this? Really? That's not true, and you know it. No, it's true. You're too... I know. I know that I've been pushy about knowing your past. If you can't tell me yet, then at least let me be there, even if I don't know the reason. It's okay, I promise. I won't ask why you need comfort. I just give it freely. You could have done that right from the start. Amy's shaking her head, and tears seem to be threatening the corners of her eyes. Stop saying that! Why? Because you're afraid you'll take me up on it? I'm not afraid! I can't keep the chitting tone from my voice as I respond. Yes, you are! You told me so yourself, remember? That's okay! Really, it is! However, it seems to me that someone who managed to come out of that wreck and still be as energetic and cheerful as you are would be determined enough to face that fear. Determination? What do you know about determination? I know that there's a girl so determined to take care of a total stranger that she'd steal his food at a festival. I know that there's a girl so determined to help me with my own problems that she'd draw up a complete dietary and exercise plan. And she'd not only draw up the plans, but she'd follow them with me, even when she couldn't run. Determined enough to keep me at arm's length that she'd put herself through emotional pain if she thought it was the right thing to do. Although there's one thing that this determined girl didn't quite plan for, which was that I might feel that same kind of determination to keep her from being hurt. I fell in love with you, and I refuse to let that be thrown away because you're afraid of losing me. What little control Amy still has at this point cracks, and I find myself suddenly enveloped in her embrace as she cries. Why? Why are you doing this? Why can't you just leave me alone? I hold her close and plant a kiss on the top of her head. Oh. I... I... I didn't expect this turn of events, honestly. I, I didn't expect that. He, 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 wow, determination, huh? Wow.
Okay. I'm sorry, Amy. You helped me when I first arrived. So now I have to help you. It's only fair. You're utterly hopeless, did you know that? She hiccups and trembles a little. Funny, I could say the same about you. C can you do something for me, Hiso? Anything. <laughs> can you go now? It feels like she's just shoved a knife through my chest. Go? I need to... I need to think, okay? I can't just tell you everything yet. I'm still scared. And when you're around, I can't think clearly. But do me another favor. What's that? Show up for our morning one tomorrow. I smile, feeling better than I have all week. Of course, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Amy steps back slowly, almost reluctantly. She sniffles a little, and then grins at me. A real smile that lights up the track, overpowering the fading evening's light. See you tomorrow, he saw. Okay. She darts forward, suddenly planting a soft kiss on my lips, then steps back shyly. Spinning on her back foot, she takes off, running again, and I know that our conversations at an end. That our conversations at an end. My lips tingle with the warmth of that brief kiss and the memories of other longer kisses. I walk back I walk back to my womb with a spring in my step. Yeah, put some spring in your steps and the world is easier. Tomorrow when my alarm goes off, I'll get up. Act 4 motion, we made it through the fourth act F uh, through the third act. And I'm going to leave this episode here. This was an amazing one. I I have no words to describe it. It 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 was horrible. It was beautiful. It was well deserved punishment for Iso. He, he was right to feel bad, but I thought he was wrong all the time, but he is more passionate than, than I'd imagine he is, actually. I feel so stupid for insulting him so much. But, as always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Show me what you thought of it in the comment section below. And I hope I will see you in the next act of Katawa Shoju. Stay tuned.